All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, ever since Tinubu came into office, all he and his cabinet members have done is to blame every other person for the problems of this country, not themselves. They have blamed the Buhari administration, and I am not saying Buhari did not fail. Buhari was a monumental failure, but we know how Buhari left this country just nine months ago, and we know how it is now. We know what the exchange rate was when Buhari was in charge. We know what it is now. And these guys are saying they will not take any blame. It is others that are to blame. The land borders are closed. You refuse to open the land borders to fall the prices of food items, but you are still blaming other people. You increase import duties. You have done that almost three to four times this year alone, but you think others are to blame. And just yesterday, the coordinating minister of the economy, Wale Edun, came out again and began to blame the Buhari regime for one policy that they executed. He said that single step they took is the cause of all the problems Nigeria is facing today. But smart Nigerians brought out the receipts from left, right, and center. How it was Tinubu himself who advised Buhari to go ahead with that policy. In fact, he was the one that introduced that policy to Buhari and Wale Edun's mouth was shut up. Before I show you what he said and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this update. Governor of River State, Fubara, came out to make an utterance and he has come under fire for that utterance. He said for peace to return to River State, he is ready to do anything, including vacating his seat. And that statement did not go down well with Nigerians at all. They said this is cowardly and it appears you are not even prepared for this seat. Look at how the papers reported it. I'm ready to leave office for peace to reign in River State. Governor Fubara says amid rift with Wike. Governor Simnalae Fubara of River State has said that he is ready to give up his position as governor for the sake of peace in the state. Governor Fubara said this in an exclusive interview with the AIT as the political crisis involving him and his predecessor and current minister of federal capital territory, FCT Yensom Wike, continues to linger. Tinubu earlier intervened in the matter and got Governor Fubara and Wike to sign an agreement to end the lingering political crisis. However, the crisis has continued unabated. Speaking during the interview, Fubara said, no sacrifice will be too big for me to pay for the success of this administration. The reason is very simple. It is not political love. It is not because I want to gain any favor from anybody. My interest and love for our dear state is genuine. I am not trying to say I want to be one man that will be there to decide the fate of all. No, but let River State remain. My burden wasn't the issue of all the drama. It is the millions of Rivers people who had made sacrifices, who are seeing opportunity, and it looks as if their hopes are being dashed. They were the ones I was worried about. What would be their fate? That was my trouble. It is not about me. He continued. If leaving this position is what I need, or what is needed to bring more peace in this state, I can even tell the people to come and take it. It is not about me. People should understand that definitely I am here. I will go but River State will still remain. I am the governor. No matter what it is, there are things I could have done and they would have been a total crisis. But the ability to restrain in the face of crisis when you have the power to do things is maturity. Now, people are saying there is no need for restraint. Wike was the one that brought the trouble, so you should give it to him hot, hot. Why should you even say if you have to vacate your seat, you will vacate? Were you not voted in? Does River State belong to Yensom Wike? And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet by Wellor says, At Sim Fubara, you were not selected by Wike. You were elected by the Rivers people. So seek permission from them to know if they want to renegade power for the sake of peace that you have claimed. Don't send the wrong message by your actions. Be in charge of your state. That is it. 
Stop acting like this. And this tweet by Tunde Adekparusi says, if truly the people of Rivers voted you as their governor, then vacating your seat because of pressure is an indication that you are not really prepared for that position. That is it. You have to mind your utterance. Don't sound foolish in the name of humility. And this tweet by Oga Mayor says, there are only 74 persons that can neither be arrested nor prosecuted in Nigeria today. And Fubara is one of them. Wike isn't, but Fubara, who has executive state powers in a federating unit, is yet to find his way around this issue for many months. Fubara is everything a state governor shouldn't be. Anyway, we know he was forced on the people. Well, you are sounding like that. And this tweet here says, be a man, stand and fight. Wike is not God. He's not even close to being a wise human being, let alone God. He does not sound wise. He sounds foolish. There's nothing special about him. It is Fubara that is just making him feel as if he knows what to do. Other smart people would have relegated him since. Now, onto the issue of the coordinating minister of the economy, Wale Edun, and the Buhari regime. On Wednesday, speaking to the Senate, Wale Edun puts the whole economic problem of this country right now on the Buhari administration. He said they cost everything because of one policy. And then smart Nigerians came out and began bringing out receipts to show that even before Tinubu came to office, he began playing active role in destroying the Nigerian economy. Look at how the papers reported it. Buhari's eight years of printing money without productivity caused inflation. Wale Edun, the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of Economy, Wale Edun, has said that the $22.7 trillion printed by the Central Bank of Nigeria through ways and means overdraft for the Federal Government of Nigeria from 2015 to 2023 under former President Muhammadu Buhari landed Nigeria into hyperinflation, bedeviling it now. Edun, who disclosed this on Wednesday during an interface with the Senate Committee on Finance, said during the period, the printing of the Naira in trillions was carried out without matching it with productivity. He said the consequence of eight years of printing money without productivity is high inflation confronting the country now. Two weeks ago, the Senate resolved to probe the 30 trillion ways and means spent by the Buhari-led federal government which, according to it, was recklessly spent. It further stated that reckless spending of the overdraft collected from the Central Bank of Nigeria under Godwin Emefiele largely accounted for the food and security crisis the country is facing. At the Wednesday session, Edwin said, We talked about inflation, and you have helped to solve that. Where has it come from? It came from eight years of just printing money, not matched with productivity. It is not like when you earn dollars and you free the Naira alongside it, although there is even a better way than that, but that is still not as bad. It is not as if money is matched with productivity increase in output. It is not. And what happened was that for eight years, the weak were left to their own devices. It is the privileged few that took everything. That is the reality. So that money supply must be brought back. Now, that was the Minister of Finance, Wale Edun. And as soon as he said that it was the printing of money by Buhari that caused all the economic problems, Nigerians said, okay, before we tell you that you are wrong, let us first look at who advised and encouraged Buhari to print money. And they flooded the internet with this position that was taken by Tinubu on the 29th of March, 2020. Look at it. And this tweet by Ayo says, Laugh out loud. Now, nah, official bat, your boss, give him that advice. The same one telling you what to do. And it reads, Tinubu to Buhari, print more Naira notes. It was Tinubu who told Buhari to print Naira notes. Kadiri, Olayu, Ola shared the same information. He wrote, he took your advice. And it reads, coronavirus, print more Naira notes, Tinubu tells federal government and this was the punch reporting it and frank patin here posted the same thing tinubu to buhari print more naira notes philip ozidi posted the same thing tinubu to buhari 
print more naira notes the internet is flooded with this message and this guy emeka says alex oti refused to blame his predecessor rolled up his sleeves and went to work the positive results are undisputable. And this tweet by El Matador say, You see APC people, them get two things in common. Blaming others and lying about everything. It was your boss that told them to print Naira notes. And he has also started printing notes. As a matter of fact, in eight months, he has printed close to 10 trillion. And it is very clear that what he's going to print will exceed what Buhari printed. So what is Wale Edun saying? And that was how Nigerians shot him up and sent him back to his cave. Anyway, it is what it is. The people in charge have nothing to offer. That is what we've been saying. We never heard Obasanjo blame the military. Late Yaradua never blamed Obasanjo when he took over from him. Good luck, Jonathan never blamed Yaradua. But with the APC, it is blame, blame, and blame. And it is with a heavy heart that I say this. This country can only get worse with these guys. Unless Nigerians come together and get them out of power. But until then, make I still enter town. <laughs> make I go get some Ogbonge political news. Where we now go like. Why? Because now because of now. Now I did here. So, don't go away. <laughs>